Hi, this is Inval Navigation YouTube channel. This, this is the third part in the Spring Boot API plus AWS Serverless components. And here we will be creating the integration testing using the test containers. In the first video we have created the Spring Boot API, and then the second video we have created the local stack Docker container using Docker Compose, and then we have deployed the AWS services using the Terraform, and then we have tested that application. Now, uh, instead of using the manual test, we will do everything utilizing the test containers in an automated fashion. We don't want this container, so I'm stopping this container and then I'm stopping the application as well. And now, create the test. So, you already have a test folder. So, here inside the test folder, you have the book service application test that is not needed here. So, for this, I will create a package named integration and then I will define base integration test and first i will start with adding the dependencies for the test containers you need to add some dependencies to the palm.xml and then you also need dependencies for your rest assured so i will add these two dependencies go back to the palm.xml here add the test containers dependencies and then you also need to add the rest assured dependencies here now go to maven refresh this now we have downloaded all the dependencies to maven and go to the base integration test first we will add the spring boot test annotation takes in web environment web environment equal to spring boot test dot web environment dot random port i am going to use the random port here and at run with spring runner dot class to utilize the random port using local server port annotation and then this is integer and port. Next we will define our local stack container so static local stack container and then this is local stack container equal to new local stack container. So this local stack container is already provided by the test containers so docker image name dot pass local stack slash local stack colon 2.3 so it is always best to define a version you can also stick to latest but if there is drastic changes you don't want your integration test to break i'm just providing the 2.3 as the image tag and then static final string here we will define the bucket name bucket underscore name I will define this as a random UUID and same for the queue name as well. And then we will define a static block. The static block will be executed first. Uh, in the static block, we will define the resources that need to be created inside the local stack container. That's what we have done in the last video using Terraform. So now here we will use the static block and here we will use startables dot deep start local stack container dot join and here we will create a try block and inside the try block we will execute in container so local stack container dot execute in container so here we will write the command so the command is aws local and then comma s3 comma mb comma ES3 colon double slash and this is the bucket name we will provide the bucket name here plus bucket name and we will copy this paste it again here instead of S3 put it as SQS and then instead of MB this is create Q Q name first we will define Q name next we need to create our DynamoDB so local stack container dot Execute it container before that I will write a catch block. You can get the exception here. I'm just catching the generic exception. Throw new runtime exception E. Create the DynamoDB. So for that AWS local comma DynamoDB comma create table. So this is to create the table and here we will be defining our table name table name focus our table name key schema attribute name equivalent to id then key type is hash 
we will enter hash attribute definitions comma copy this here again and paste it here instead of key type this is attribute type you can enter es and next is provision and then now last is read capacity read capacity units you call into five and then write capacity unit you call into five so if you compare this with our uh, main.tf you have created everything here as well so we have defined our uh, dynamo db in the dynamo db we have provided the id hash key and then the attribute type and uh, key values and here if we go back this is what we have done here so now we are done with our static block next we will override this values in our application yaml to override this you can use at dynamic property source if you are defining the at dynamic property source then that method need to be a static method so static void override properties so this will override the properties whichever you have defined in the application.yaml so here this will get dynamic property registry dynamic property registry dot add first book service dot bucket bucket name book service dot q instead of bucket name this is q name this is spring dot cloud dot aws dot region dot static and this is local stack container dot get region and here instead of region this is credentials access key credentials dot access key and this instead of get region this is get access key and here instead of region this is credentials dot secret key and instead of get region this is get secret key now we will override the uris so spring cloud aws s3 dot endpoint and here instead of get region this is get endpoint override and then the service is s3 dot to string copy this and uh, paste this here copy this and paste this here uh, here instead of s3 this is sqs and here instead of s3 this is this dynamo db and here instead of s3 this is sqs and instead of s3 here this is dynamo db now we have overridden all the properties now we have created the base integration test the here we have initialized our local stack container now we will start creating our rest assured and this is where we will be doing our endpoint testing so i will name this as book service integration test and this extends base integration test and first i will add public void and test upload first we will define our request specification so here we have created a request specification so the request specification has the base uri the base uri is the local stack uri and then we have defined our base path the base path is book service api and then it has the multi-part file image and we have added this design.jpg to our resource folder and then we have added the query param isbn book name author name year published and then we have logged the log detail dot all and then we have created this request specification and uh, we also need to mark this as test so at test next we will add the given given dot spec and the spec is record specification which we have already created and when dot post so here in the post we will define the path which is slash upload dot then dot status code equal into with we are expecting http status dot ok dot value now we are passing in the record specification and we are invoking the post and then we are expecting the http status ok and now if you go back to our uh, container we don't have any container running now this is the previous container which we have created 
and now I will start this application. Now I will run this test upload function. This should create a container for the local stack here. This created the container and this is pulling the image, uh, local stack image. Now the local stack container is also running. Now we started our application and we started executing our test and it executed the test and the test went through fine. We got this specification here. If you go back, the test ran fine and we got green here. So here you can able to see the message listener. We got a message here. This is when we post the message, we got this message. So thanks for watching this video. In the three part series, we have covered creating the REST endpoint using the Spring Boot and we have connected to the AWS services, serverless services such as S3, uh, DynamoDB and then SQS. And then we have deployed the same in our local stack container in our local using the Docker. And then we have deployed the services, AWS services using the Terraform. In this video, we have uh, created the test containers and you have used the rest assured to create the automation test suite. Thanks for watching this video. For more technical videos, subscribe to this channel. And if you feel this content is really helpful, like and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching.